Hi guys, this is Megan and today we're talking about how to keep Twitch viewers engaged and keep your stream going even when you have a low viewer count. A lot of people say don't look at how many people are watching you. Even I cannot ignore that. I always keep Streamlabs open. But I would say don't get discouraged and don't feel like you have to rely on the people that are in chat to keep you engaged. Um, it is a lot harder, I'm not gonna lie, to come up with stuff to talk about when nobody in chat is responding to your questions. Um, even with a high viewer count, you can't rely on people to keep uh, the chat live and, and going constantly. Um, you can try your hardest to ask questions and keep them engaged. Um, a recent stream that I had, I was trying to ask everyone's New Year's resolutions. That's a really good um, way to keep the chat going. That's something some, most people have top of mind, but you know, you're not always going to get every single person responding to what you're saying. A lot of them might have Twitch open and might be doing something else. Um, even on their phone, they may not be paying attention every second. So I would just say that to keep talking constantly on stream is definitely a draining for a lot of people, especially people that aren't outgoing. Um, it, it's, it's a struggle for sure. But um, I would just, number one, I think the most important thing to talk about is what's going on in your personal life, something that you're excited about, a recent story that you might have to share. Uh, if you don't go outside like me a lot, um, talk about something that happened in the workplace. Uh, if you work remote or in person, usually you'll have a funny interaction from that day um, or something that you ran into when you were talking with your family or spouse, something that's funny and interesting that you remember. Um, don't try to make up funny stories that didn't happen, that doesn't work well. Um, <laughs> talk about things that you're interested in like a recent movie you saw some music you like um really in any of your hobbies and interests will work well talking about hobbies and interests is a great way to uh, resonate with your viewers and find common interests a lot of people will follow you just based on the fact that you re really love something that they love um it's a great way to get the chat going with someone first time chatters first time viewers um, you can't always rely on people to follow you even though they have a great time on your stream um, but you might pop up again if you're playing a game that they frequently watch like league of legends or fortnite tip number two which i am still learning um, is to chat about the game that you're playing um, a game like league of legends is highly complex i don't i don't consider myself an expert in any way um, so that's a harder game for me to talk about when I'm playing constantly. Um, I don't always have something insightful to share, but just talking about your, your strategy, making fun of yourself is a great way to keep um, people laughing and talking in the chat, asking for tips, um, using tags on your, you know, whatever streaming platform you're using. I use Streamlabs OBS, um, using tags like Backseat Gaming. Um, playing with viewers are, are a great tip um, because they they know maybe if you have a lower viewer count that you, they can rely on you to respond to the chat. Just make sure you don't take the game too seriously if you if you go with this tactic. I mean, a lot of people get very upset with the game. Um, that can either attract viewers or <laughs> encourage people to maybe pop out if they feel like you're getting a little bit too intense. Um, I know that that's been a tactic tactic of really um, great professional streamers that are really good at certain games. They get really frustrated and that is a reason why people like to watch their gameplay. Um, with me, I never really take it too seriously. Sometimes I scream because I'm dying and I run into a situation that I probably shouldn't have been in, but I can laugh at myself. So um, Another tactic if you're talking about the game is to talk about how long you've been playing, um, ask for tips from viewers talk about why you love the game, um, certain updates that they've made, your opinion on that. Um, if you're playing an RPG or a, a story game, it's a little bit easier to have reactions to what's going on, but it's not as easy to talk about during gameplay. Um, you can make constant comments on you know, the scenery and the, the dialogue. Tip number three is um, not a great tactic for larger streamers, but always keep your eye on the chat. The chat will be going constantly if you have a lot of viewers and a lot of people in the chat. However, um, I'm, I'm a smaller streamer and I like to keep engaged, but 
during certain times this can be very distracting to your gameplay so your gameplay may suffer it's definitely a skill to keep one eye on the chat and one on the game another is to keep your head in the game while you're thinking of responding to questions um, it's definitely not something that was easy for me starting out um, it's okay if you don't play your best on stream, but it's definitely very distracting if you are constantly watching uh, the questions. So it's better to take a peek every minute or so to keep your um, dialogue going with the stream with the chat. Um, but don't feel like you need to respond to every question. Making sure that you pick something out of the chat every you know three to five minutes and then just keep talking about that subject. It keeps the chat going and it keeps people engaged. Um, talking about stories that are unrelated to what your viewers are talking about can be a little bit distracting. They feel like maybe you're not keeping an eye on it, so it kind of discourages them from messaging if they feel like you're not watching um, what's being said in the chat and it may discourage them from asking you questions in the future. Tip number four is to have a goal listed on your stream. Um, this doesn't have so much to do with in-game chat, um, but it does have to do with what you're working towards as a streamer. Um, you can mention it from time to time in, in the middle of your stream. Um, it actually helps a lot with sub count and um, followers on Twitch as well because they feel like they're contributing to that goal of yours. And if you bring it up, it's very similar to like hit the subscribe button on YouTube. People always say that after their videos are finishing, it's just a little reminder to people that just that two second, you know, act on their part can really make a difference in your life and uh, help support you as a Twitch streamer. A tactic that I've used in the past that has led to some of the highest view counts um, on my stream, both on stream while it's live and after I've posted a past stream, um, is to have a theme. Um, this is not something that you should try every single stream that you have, but maybe once every few months. If you have a theme, um, the one that I did was horror movies, um, and if you're discuss discussing that topic, you can put the title in your Twitch stream. Um, it'll draw in viewers, um, have that differentiating factor. You might get a little more targeted with the type of people that are, will pop into your stream, um, but if you have a higher... Um, follower count, you're going to rely on those past viewers to come and join the chat and hopefully support whatever topic you're talking about. But people that are just browsing in a huge game like League of Legends or Call of Duty, um, it's really hard to differentiate your stream if you're just saying, you know, playing ranked, playing with viewers. A lot of people have those types of titles, but the more specific you get to a topic that you're really interested in and something that you can feel freely to just talk about because you really enjoy it, um, it's gonna make this stream more successful overall and draw in some viewers that you may have not gotten before. And my last tip is to, even though this has been brought up by many other streamers um, as a tip, yes, you can watch other streams, but I would just encourage you not to try to copy other tactics that Twitch followers use. Um, you could kind of go about watching other people for inspiration but don't try to copy their exact tactic um, they built their own following by being themselves and being comfortable on camera and talking with their viewers um, trying to replicate another tactic that someone is using usually doesn't go well i've tried this in the past trying to be some someone other than yourself never goes well so just make sure that you be you and have fun for more tips on gaming and streaming uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button thanks for watching